Howdy folks, this is Jethro. Uh, just wanted to come and make a quick video. Uh, last week, Chris over at uh, CD Scale Models, he posed a question in his video. He was explaining how he got into scale modeling, model cars in particular, and just asked us or challenged us to give our story of how we got into scale modeling, model cars and stuff. So. Um, I, I thought it was a great idea at the time, but I was out of town all weekend and just haven't really had time to do it, so I'm going to do it today. Um, so first of all, thanks Chris for, for doing that. That's a, cool, that's a cool idea, and I've enjoyed the videos I've watched so far of the people answering it. So um, my story is pretty similar to a lot of the others. Uh, I think most of us got into scale modeling as as kids, you know, whether it was airplanes or military or me, it was just cars. I was, I loved cars from as long as I can remember. Um, started out with like Tonka trucks and matchbox cars and Hot Wheels and moved on into model cars when I got about, I guess about 10 years old or so. Um, back in those days, all of, all of your general stores, uh, well, we had by me, we had Kresge's, which became Kmart, and Woolworth, that became Woolco, and it, they're gone now. But uh, they all had a great selection of model cars, and uh, so we just take whatever money we could scratch up. And I had two older brothers, and we all three, and a lot of the neighborhood kids, we all got into building models and had a great time with it. Had a lot of had a lot of fun. A lot of good memories with that. Um, just never really did a lot of detailing work as a kid. Just kind of put them together. Um, we were probably lucky to have paint to paint them. Sometimes we just had to build them as they were. So, um, but it was a lot of fun and always enjoyed it. And uh, again, like most people around you know late teenage years, you actually get a a real car and get into that. Or I did. I got into the one one scale cars and started working on them and building whatever I could build on those and but I never really got completely away from the hobby um, I built a few here and there through the 80s you know I was in my 20s I built probably three or four through that time usually models of the vehicles that I owned at the time a couple of old Camaros and some stuff like that so uh, just never really lost interest in it, but just didn't have a lot of time with all the other stuff going on. Um, so really that's pretty much where it was and um, still over over the time since then to now I'd build a few, build one every now and then. If I came across something that I had an interest in, I might put it together, but few and far between because, you know, between all of the family and kids and all of that you just kind of stay busy and don't have a lot of free time for things like it's just busy doing other other things with life and nothing wrong with that either so I enjoyed every bit of that too uh, the kids are pretty much grown and you know I got time to mess around with it so I've kind of gotten back into it thanks a lot to a lot of you guys in YouTube that kind of adopted my channel and came in supporting it even when I really wasn't building models I was just doing car show videos and through all of that it just kind of got my interest back I had a closet with you know I had like 25 model kits in my closet for the last 20 years or so and it just kind of worked out that way and started building the models again um, I've actually got I dug around and found a few pictures in my old photo albums or some of my old builds I've only got like three or four of them that I had pictures of um, you'll recognize some of them the older the older crowd um, my age crowd <laughs> we'll, we'll say it that way uh, I've got a uh, pictures of, of the paddy wagon and Tijuana taxi I believe they were Tom Daniels builds and then I've got a couple of funny cars that are kind of next to each other it's a uh, a Challenger and a Mercury Cougar. It's got a really funky orange paint job. I don't know what was going on with that, but uh, the uh, Challenger, I believe, was Gene Snow's Rambunctious, if I have any memory left at all of that. It seems like that's what it was. Um, 
But I'm going to go ahead and show those and then I'll come back and wrap it up. All right, well, I'm back, and uh, that was it. I, you know, I know I built a lot of models, and I'd have, you know, 15 or 20 of them at a time on the shelf, and for some reason, I guess we didn't just, just didn't take pictures of them. I guess we figured we had the models, we didn't need pictures, but uh, I wished I would have taken more, but uh, that's what I had, and uh, that's pretty much what the story is. Just with me as a kid, it was model cars and riding bicycles that was pretty much what we did so um so we got older and got into sports and everything but uh but it was a lot of fun and still is i enjoy it and uh, appreciate all you guys all my subscribers and ones that watch my videos and the comments are great i really enjoy that look forward to all of them uh, and appreciate all you guys and uh hope you all are having a good week and that'll do it for me. This is Jethro, over and out.